Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's uh, a beautiful, bright, sunny day here in the spring. Um, it feels like that golf courses are starting to open up, although not all of them. Um, it's been an interesting time these last couple months to watch this pandemic come over across the whole world. And uh, I think uh, I feel thankful that I live here on Salt Spring Island and uh, I can enjoy the, out, enjoy the outdoors. So I'm gonna do a short video here on chipping and I hope you guys all enjoy it. Um, I know we're all excited about golf courses opening back up and hopefully the golf course here on Salt Spring Island opens up soon. And uh, in the meantime, if you have a little space in your backyard, check out uh, this video and um, I look forward to seeing you guys all when the golf course opens back up. So what we're gonna look at is chipping. When most people chip, I notice that there's a lot of rotation of the shoulders laterally. So their shoulders open up and close and open up. And so it's almost like they're in a circular motion. That makes the club face open up so much. You can see my club face is square here. And then as I open up, it's opened up almost 90 degrees. There's a lot of timing involved with the hands in trying to square that back up at impact. And so to minimize the amount that the club face opens and closes, what I like to do is I like to stand really, really close to the ball. So I almost feel like my nose is right on top of the ball. When I do that and I get my weight on my front foot, so you can see I'm a lefty, I'm gonna get my weight on my right foot. From there, instead of having my shoulders feeling like they're rotating this way, I almost wanna have them feel like they're rotating straight up and straight down so that my shoulder plane is not doing this, not like I'm in a barrel, it's doing this vertically. And if you watch what happens to the club face as I come back, the club face has barely opened up. So all I really have to do now is I have to return the ball to impact square. I don't really have to do anything with my hands. It becomes a much, much easier chipping motion. So I'm gonna show you this. And I want you guys, if you have a chance to practice just hitting chip shots at about one or two feet. I was doing this in my living room the other night and I was thinking this is the best thing somebody can do for solid contact with chipping. So I'll do it from this angle. I'm gonna get right on top of the ball. I'm gonna get my weight on my front foot. And then from here, I'm actually gonna try to just hit this one foot. You can nail that down. That went about three feet. If you can nail that down, it's gonna make you so much of a better chipper. You'll thank me later for it. As you can see, I'm doing the beginning of what would be a vertical shoulder rock. So this way, and not a lot of that action. I'll do one more a little bit bigger, just so you can see. I don't know if you guys could hear that contact, but it was perfectly solid. Try that from home, try it from your backyard. Maybe try it from your living room if there's no windows around. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys all very, very soon.